First of all, I will show you the materials and tools that I use. First, there are sketching paper, then eraser and pencil, liner, and also some markers. Next, there are some acrylic paints, and I only used the basic colors, so I can mix it up later. Then there are some brushes. Well, I also got some plates for paint. And also water to clean the brush. Next up is the manufacturer, a quarry glass in A5 size. And some wooden stand to put on the acrylic glass. And last is the little stuff for packaging and some freebies. And I got some stickers and cards for the freebies. Well, the first step is sketching. What you have to do is make a print of drawing that you want in black and white, or just make a sketch directly on the paper. Here I made a sketch of Nezuko Kamado from Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. Next, I will mark the color on the sketching paper so it can help me when I do the coloring later. Then put a colored glass above the paper and tape it so it will move around. After that, start making your outline using marker and use the super fine tip on doing the details. Next up is coloring. First of all, mix the colors that you want. For example, red and white make pink color. To decide what color to paint first, look at the sketch. Color the drawing that comes in front first. For example, I color the scale effects first. Make sure that the paints don't overlay the area outside the outline. If there is a stain, just easily remove the paint with a toothpick. Color the smaller part, use a brush that has smaller tip, so it will fit perfectly. If there are some mistakes, we can also wipe the paints before it dries. After one color is done, mix another color to one and just paint it like before. To make the paint dry faster, a hair dryer will help much. Just casually flip it over without touching the wet paint to see the result during coloring. If 
the result isn't opaque enough, you can overlay the pin twice or more to make the color look more opaque. Gradation of few colors is also possible on acrylic glass. The best way to make it look better is painting it with drying it, so the colors will mix become one. Another tip to make the color look more opaque is overlay the painted area with black acrylic paint. It really looks much better with black acrylic paint over the painted area. For the finishing part, I usually use a toothpick to remove the stain and I'll wipe the acrylic glass with sanitizer liquid or just water on its front glass so it will look more clean and shiny. And here is the result. And last is for packaging. Usually I write a wish on the wooden stand. It will depend on the request from customer. <laughs>